Hello YouTube, today I'm bringing you a commentary, it's a free-for-all on the map resistance and today I'll be using a class setup which is the SCAR-L with a suppressor and the kick proficiency. I'll also be using the FMG-9 Akimbos as my secondary and a perk setup which is the Slate of Hand Pro, Quick Draw Pro, and Stalker Pro. Um, I'm using a UAV predator missile and attack helicopter with a semtex and flash grenades as my primary tactical grenades. Today I want to talk to you guys about free for all tips and tricks and how I find how I can win my games most of the time, not always though. Because um, I know a lot of big name commentators have already made commentaries on free for all tips and tricks. But if you, they're kind of outdated because if you look at the date they were posted, they're either November 8th or 9th most of the time. And at that point, all the people were like not even prestiged yet and they're only like on the low levels and stuff. And that, that makes it outdated in the sense that people level up, they discover which guns are better, what, are, uh, what guns are overpowered, and what guns basically to use and that you will get the most kills with and people will get frustrated because you're going on kill streak tears and calling in like your predator missile and then you get your tac helicopter and then you like getting your reaper and stuff but things changed since then and people discovered what to use and how to get better so i'd suggest there's two things you have to note when playing free for all is Number one is stick to the outside of the map. Um, I know a lot of other people have said this, but I just want to emphasize how important that is to stay on the outside of the map. Because everyone knows that there's a house in the center of this map, but I wouldn't suggest going in there in a free-for-all, because you're most likely you're going to get picked off by another player spawning in behind you when you're trying to get in there. And then you're pr they're probably going to be camping in there or whatnot and just kill you when you walk in there and the other thing to note is that you have to know the spawn system now you can do this a few ways you can just go into free-for-alls and just figure out where people are spawning around you you kind of get the gist of everything if you just play the game type over and over again another way you can do it is grab a friend and head to a private match on the maps and just like kill each other and see where you guys spawn that could probably work too um, other things you have to note are that you you need to pick what gun you feel most comfortable with and I mean I'd probably suggest using a submachine gun or an assault rifle and maybe even a sniper shotgun maybe on smaller maps like dome but like on resistance, I would not recommend using a shotgun. I'd use a assault rifle or machine gun, a submachine gun. Sorry, uh, just because it's kind of medium to long range, and then you can pull out your secondary like FMG9 Akimbo's if you're at close range. But yeah, so that's that. And another thing you have to note is that you should aim down your sights. Well, not necessarily aim down your sights, but Keep your crosshairs, like when you turn corners and walk, you can see I la that predator missile lagged out right there, but when you're r walking around corners, always make sure to like just stop running and have your crosshairs where you think a person might be. Like put yourself in their shoes, where would you be standing if you were camping and you, want you wanted to get a kill when the guy comes around a corner? So you should always have your crosshairs pointed at where you think they most likely would be when you're turning corners and stop running because then you're probably if they're camping there you might get the kill even though they have the advantage because they know that you, well you can't see them to start but they can see you and yeah so that's that's the things that you should note now I think this gameplay is wrapping up here shortly yeah I'm about to get the last kill right after this but yeah, so I end up going 30 and 1 in this game. It was almost a Moab gameplay, but sadly I died like right in the middle at like 15 kills. You can see another Predator missile lag out right there. But 
anyway, yeah, that's what I wanted to talk to you guys about. I'll bringing, I'll be bringing you a Skyrim video later this week on how to get the Dawnbreaker. It's probably going to be in a three-part series. So thank you for watching, and please subscribe. Yes.